My name is Stephen Thomas. I'm Superintendent Pharmacist at Rowlands Pharmacy, so I'm one of the CCA uh, members on the RSG. Uh, I've been asked a, a question about uh, why people should vote, and in particular, why people should vote for the proposals that the RSG has put forward. So let's take the first of those. So why should people vote? Well, I think it's really important that we've got to a position where we're able to make some recommendations that fall out of David Wright's report, um, which was obviously relatively critical about the way um, the representational structures worked together. And I think that the proposals that we've uh, put forward as part of the RSG work seek to remedy some of the criticism that was in David's initial report, but also to try and enhance that. So I think that the, the reason for voting uh, is quite clear. Um, it, David's initial reports was highlighted quite a lot of dissatisfaction amongst contractors. So um, I think that the opportunity to recommend change to the contractor base that the RSG has made is, is really important. Uh, not voting would seem to be a bit of a retrograde step. If people have told us that um, they're not happy um, with the way representational structures are currently uh, being uh, run, then not voting would seem to be an odd thing to do. I, I would rather, much rather people vote definitively one way or the other uh, than simply abstain. I think that doesn't necessarily tell the sector much, but it also doesn't really uh, give the NHS a particular uh, grounding in how strongly the um, contractor base feels about the proposals that are being put forward. But what I do think is that the proposals that have been put forward represent a really good consensus view of uh, a way forward. Um, some people are never going to be happy with them. Some people may think that we've gone too far, but I think this consensus piece is really important. And for me, there's two really strong points that come out of the proposals. First of all is governance. Um, I think it's having a single governance framework for the entire representative sector has to be a good thing. Uh, as somebody who operates, uh, works for a company that operates pharmacies that are multi-site, multi um, you can see the same situation that you see in a multi-site operation within LPCs, uh, in that you've got some at the top of the game and some that need more support. And I think that that, that, that single national governance framework uh, will help go a long way in helping uh, those that need more support uh, reach a position that's more like uh, the, the uh, LPCs that are at the top of their game. I think also having the same set of governance frameworks across uh, LPCs and PSNC is also really important. I think every bit of the, of the, the representational structure should be held to the same standards. And so I think that that's actually a, a really important thing. And it gives us some transparency across the representational structure as well. So. Governance is a huge part of the proposals for me, and I think that these propo the proposals um, seek to address that. The, the other element is around performance, and that's not just about uh, funding, and I know the recommendations for providing more funding from LPCs to uh, PSNC, or newly named CPE if the proposals go through, um, which are important in themselves, but I think performance is a much bigger piece. So it's, all, it's about focusing on core activities, making sure that uh, LPCs and PSNC are working together for the benefit of contractors. It's, at the moment, it can feel a little bit fragmented. Uh, and I think these proposals seek to bring that all much closer together. Just in terms of that flow of money from LPCs into PSNC, I think that that money is going to have to work quite hard. We're going to need to uh, invest in some training of negotiating team and negotiation support. We need to uh, do um, more work on health economics, more work on data analysis, and uh, generally uh, provide more data to inform the negotiations um, so that we get a much better outcome. So for me, as I say, I think it's important to vote. I think it's important that we get a definitive answer one way or the other, uh, and, and an abstention won't do that. Um, and I think for me, the two major elements of the proposals are both governance and the performance, including funding. So I really hope that uh, as contractors, you'll get behind the vote uh, and uh, submit a vote. Uh, and uh, we look forward to announcing uh, the results in mid-June.